Okay, Ingun, let me answer yours and then. Hi, Ingun. I'm Ingun, I'm unmuting you. You, you. Can you unmute yourself? Hi. So good in English. Okay. What? Well, I have understand everything you say. What? What is your native language? Uh, Norwegian. We all understand Norwegian. No, Shkir, you can speak in Norwegian. Uh, uh, well, you can say if you want to say it in Norsk, uh, Hilde, my dear sister, will be kind enough to translate it if that's easier for you. Do you want to do that, or or you can try to say? I can uh, tr I can try in uh, English. Okay. In English. Okay. okay. Um, I I think about uh, what you say. Uh, you have to uh, get the proof of everything, uh, and uh, you have some proof of uh, there is only one. Uh, God, uh, okay, so, okay, let me now read your question. Have you experienced and received proof that there is only one? Uh, yes, there is only one. I can feel itself, it's only one. Because uh, I be happy when I uh, I am happy when I can live in the uh, stillness. But I don't uh, know uh, is about that right or wrong. I know it makes me happy, but. Uh, I'm not sure if that uh, answer. Okay, the in the absence of your mind, it's absence of your thoughts. Who are you? If if all of a sudden you have no thoughts, nothing, there's no thinking. And we we disconnect you from your memory, from the past. Let's say there is no past right now. Past is gone. And you and I are here. And you're alive, but you have no thoughts. It's quiet. And we're not going to the past. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Hold on. It's the observer. Yes. The, uh, the, uh, the observer. Yes. Right. I feel that very strong. Right. I, yes. Right. Great. It's the only thing I can yeah. say. I uh, know. And yeah, exactly. In the absence of thoughts, because the memory, you go back to your memory, to the past, that's thoughts too. So in the absence of all of thoughts, it's simply you are. You are here, you're the observer, or you are, but you're not anything, you simply are. I feel that. Yeah, beautiful, because that's the truth of who you are. I'm going to go to Kim. Kim, are you around? Let me see if I find you. There you are. Hi, Kim. Hi. Hi. Do you want to you want to ask ask us your question so everybody can hear it? Sentence on 
the meaning of the truth of who you are and what is our truth. Is it based on our own perception as seeing our truth and reality? Or do we all have the same truth that are all that we are all divine beings created by one source with unlimited infinite potential? Yeah, well, there is only one truth. And there's, there's always been one truth. So, and, and God is the only thing there is. Awareness is the only thing it is. There's nothing else. You can call it life, you can call it the manifest world, it's that. So we can say my truth from my perspective and from my limited point of view and whatever my upbringing is and my conditioning is this and then you may say something else. but the reality of it is there's only one truth and that's the awareness that's the presence the present moment is always here the present moment is always here it's never anywhere else so now you are in this present moment living living you can escape it you can't escape of from the present moment because there's nothing else. This is it. But the mind, through the I thought, would like to go to the memories, its memories, or go to the future and create something which doesn't exist. And as a result of that, question starts to come, questioning it. But when your mind goes into silence, again, in the absence of your mind, who are you? What's here? What's left? So if we take your memory out and then your mind is quiet, you have no thoughts, then what's left? You will be here because you're not going to die, but you don't have any questions. And there is no answers anymore. So you simply are. A part of life. With the life surrounding you. You have no thoughts. And you're here. There's no questions. So in one summary, is it safe to say that the truth of who you are is just in this present moment? Yes, exactly. Because there is nothing else. Have you ever experienced life outside of the present moment? Are you ever, ever not able to be aware? Can you be and not be aware? Can you not be aware of the temperature in a room? Can you be not aware of a helicopter hovering over your house? Can you not hear someone is cutting grass with, uh, with this machine and is making a lot of noise? Can you, if your five-year-old is screaming or, or demanding your attention, can you just not be aware of it? If your stomach is hurting or you feel indigestion, you ate something and it's all bloated, can you not be aware of it? 